When I was in high school, um, last couple of years of high school, um, they used to take us to uh, this homeless shelter on Friday nights. And it was in, um, it was in downtown Sydney in a, a really rough area. And um, the homeless shelter was run by the St. Vincent de Paul Society. And um, it was a really uncomfortable experience, awkward experience, um, difficult experience. I think for most of us as teenagers, um, just to go into that environment on a Friday night and and we used to feed the men. It was it was a shelter for men. Uh, we used to feed the men their dinner, and then and then sit with the men and talk to them. And hearing their stories, um, the stories of their lives, or the stories of how they ended up there, or the stories of what had happened to them that day, um, was. Uh, it was disturbing and, and, and profound at the same time, especially as a teenager, you know, you're in high school. Um, it really doesn't matter how hard you try, you've had such a limited experience of the world. You are living in a bubble to some extent and, and then you're going to this place and you're, you're being dragged out of that bubble. You're being given a bigger vision of life, a bigger vision of the world, a bigger vision of, of reality. And, and I think it was profound and, and I think it was disturbing and it was a really good piece of our education, you know. Um, and I'm very, very grateful in hindsight that, that our teachers decided to make that part of our education because it was, it was very powerful and it, it does have staying power. It is something that I remember. It is something that my friends remember. We talk about it from time to time. It's impossible to read the Gospels and not recognize that uh, J Jesus loved poor people. Um, and that he had an enormous compassion for our humanity. Um, usually when we talk about poor people, we think about people who don't have stuff or don't have food or don't have money. The reality is, is that we're, we're all poor in our own way. We're all dealing with a form or a type of poverty. Um, very often we're unaware of it, of course. Um, but the gospel challenges us to say, you know, when Jesus heals the blind man, the gospel challenges us to say, okay, in what ways am I the blind man? You know, when Jesus cures the deaf person, it challenges us to think about, okay, in what ways am I the deaf person? What have I been deaf to in my life, you know? And when Jesus cures the lepers, it challenges us to say, okay, in what ways am I a leper or in what ways have I made other people lepers? Um, socially, politically, economically, or in any other way, shape or form. And so, Poverty is much more universal than, you know, not having food or stuff. And um, the gospel is an invitation to explore our own poverty. And in many ways, it's by exploring our own poverty and understanding our own poverty that we develop compassion for everybody else in their particular um, type of poverty because we realize one of the most radical truths of Christianity, one of the most radical truths of Jesus' teachings, which is the idea that we're all in this together. You know, um, we're all in this together and, and everything we do every day affects everyone, everywhere, and, and we're all in this together. And we, we may want to build our little house and put a little fence about it and say, well, this is our space. Or we may want to say, well, this is mine or that. But at the end of the day, we are all in this together and, and the gospel draws us back to that time and time again. And so sometimes the most difficult thing is to go beyond our little circle of friends and to interact with other circles of people and to have real relationships 
that are uncomfortable. Um, and not to go to the homeless shelter uh, on a Friday night or any night of the week with some uh, grandiose feeling that, you know, we are doing something for other people because my experience is that every time you walk away and, and they will have done more for me than I did for them. And it, it draws me back time and time again to the idea that they are our brothers, they are our sisters, they are our mothers, they are our fathers, they are our sons, they are our daughters. We are all in this together and, and Jesus in almost everything he taught us tried to get us to realize we are all in this together and the saints did that as well. And, and the radical generosity of St. Vincent de Paul, the radical life he lived by engaging with the poor and the poorest of the poor, materially poor, challenges us to, to remember that we're all in this together. And uh, there can't be some winners and some losers. We're, we all win or we all lose. Um, and, and that is a very radical truth in our society today. Just as radical as it was 2,000 years ago, it has not lost its flavor. Did you know that 71% of the people that watch Matthew Kelly's videos are not subscribers? That makes no sense. We need to change that. Subscribe today. Hit that subscribe button, smash that like button, and turn on those notifications so you never miss out on another great video ever again.